Hey guys, this is Skylar Welch from Mainpoint Lending. And this week on the Sales Rally, what I'm going to talk about a little bit is Women's History Month. So March is Women's History Month. And what I want to talk about a little bit today is just kind of really how women are breaking the barriers into the mortgage industry. It is really thought out, you know, when you think about the people in the mortgage industry, a lot of people think of a bunch of suited men, right? And when I first got into the industry, it was hard. People were literally looking at me and saying like, uh, can I, real life people said to me, can I talk to your boss? Can I talk to a manager? And I would call clients, I would call real estate agents. And one of their first questions that they would say to me, which is, it's crazy to think now, they'd be like, how old are you? How long have you been doing this? And I think to myself, like, if I was a man in this industry, would they have said that to me? Would they have asked to talk to my manager? Would they have asked to talk to someone else to get a different answer? I don't know if that's the case. So I've worked really, really hard over the last 11 years to really break down those barriers barriers, and create a seat for myself at the table. And ways that I've done that is just being an expert in my industry. Um, but I think honestly, being a woman in this industry has set me apart and, and allowed me to get a lot of business from my, my male competitors. Because as a woman, I'm naturally more nurturing. I'm naturally more caring. I'm naturally more thoughtful. And I bring those things to the table when, when handling my clients and my real estate agents. And honestly, in the state that I'm in, probably five, I would say like five of the top six or seven uh, loan officers in our state are women. And it's because we, we are more naturally nurturing to our clients. But I think that there's such a stereotype of of this and um you know people just assume like oh well i'm going to ask the man or the man must be running the, the company but we're actually getting so much business here because it's a woman run company and people love that and i think that that's such a an important thing to realize and think about as our day and age changes um also you know i think instead of using that, something that I th have thought about a lot is instead of using the fact that I'm a woman as a disadvantage, I use it as an advantage. And as a woman originator, I highly recommend that you do that. You know, my clients work with me because I genuinely care about them. Use that to your advantage. Bring things up like, some. I had a client that I closed in 2014. He called me the other day. I, I've kept in touch with him just like I keep in touch with all my clients. He called me the other day and the first thing I said to him was, how's Nora? How's your baby? I haven't done a deal for him since 2014, but I remembered that. And I said that to him and immediately he's like, oh my goodness, like you remember my daughter's name? And that built this rapport with him and built this like trust with him. And as a woman, I think that's something that we're really good at and something that we should use it as, as our advantage. Um, also, I think it, I've, I work with a lot of single moms and young women that are looking to become homeowners and start building equity. And, and I think that it's super important to build their confidence, know that you're going to help them through the entire process from start to finish. And that's something I focus on so much is like empowering them, empowering women, empowering your clients, empowering your agents, giving them all the resources they need to be successful. And that's something as a male originator and female originator, you should always focus on. Really make sure that your voice is heard and don't, you know, think that there are there's these stereotypes or that you don't look, you're not looked at as being a serious, you know, big player in this industry. I mean, you may have to work a little bit harder. You may have to, you know, put a little bit more into be a little bit more serious. I mean, I think that that's the biggest, biggest thing I've run into is I've had to show up a little bit more. I've had to show, prove myself a little bit harder and show that I am at the same level. I am better than some of these others because I work harder, you know? And, and I think that that's something that as a woman, you have to prove sometimes and, and I'm not scared to do that, but by doing that, you really earn your place at the table. But in all honesty, I'm setting my own table. And as women originators, I think that's how you should look at it. If you want to have a place at my table, then you have to prove that to me, you know? And I think that that's something that's super important is, is don't always think like, okay, like I'm trying to compete with them. I'm trying to, to be there, but no, set your own table, make your own, make your own 
um, kind of guidelines for it. And that will make you really successful. And focus on empowering these other, these women, these single moms, these people that need it more than ever. And do that by being a nurturing person, being a someone who genuinely cares. People want their hands held sometimes. Buying a home is one of the scariest, uh, most stressful, frustrating times in your life. And if you are working with someone that's going to take the time to listen, to find out not only what you're qualified for, what's the right loan program, but help you find what's a comfortable monthly payment. Like, where should I be? What kind of property should I be buying? Always take the time with your clients to do that. And any, I mean, any first time home buyer, any family, anything like that, they're the ones that need that. But especially like those young single moms that maybe have gone through something that they need extra support, take the time with them. And especially this month to celebrate Women's History Month, really play to your strengths, celebrate your strengths, celebrate what sets you apart, what sets you, what makes you different. And don't ever let anyone say to you, you know, can I talk to your boss? I mean, why, why would someone say that? <laughs> because they're not taking me seriously um, because I'm a young woman. And I ran into that so often and I had to overcome that. But now, you know, 10, 11 years into the business, I'm not getting that anymore. I've built my own name for myself. And, and as a woman in this industry, I, I say, do that, do that for yourself as well. Build your own name, build, your, set your own table and you're going to be extremely successful and use your strengths. That's what I'm going to leave this with is truly use your strengths to your advantage. That's why women are successful in this industry because they have different strengths. Those strengths of nurturing, caring, taking care of their clients and being thoughtful. Always be thoughtful. Do those little special touches, check in. After closing, say, hey, like, how do the kids like their room? You know, those are just little things to like think about when you're, when you close a deal, don't just move on to the next. Always take care of those clients that you've already had to deal with and put those little thoughtful touches in because especially women appreciate those and they realize like, hey, like they were really paying attention. Like they remember my kid's name. They want to know how they like their room, like just little things like that. And that's what will set you apart and make you have a continuous successful career as a strong woman in this mortgage industry. That was this week's weekly sales rally. And I hope you have a wonderful March celebrating Women's History Month and make sure to continue to set your own table.